Warrior three, let's explore our way um, through the different ways to build this one. And again, just like those other foundational warriors, once you have the classic version down, there's lots of ways that you can play with this one. Warrior three is a standing balance, and you're gonna start, again, top third of your mat, hips, um, shoulders, ears, all square and aligned. Let's start with hands to heart center. When you pause here, notice that length from your tailbone to your crown. So your spine is long and strong. A lot of engagement in these muscles that wrap around your torso. Let's put a soft bend. Um, we're gonna build this side slowly and then the other side we might build a little more quickly. Soft bend in the knees and then begin to hinge your torso forward. You still have that length tailbone to crown. So the chin is coming just a tiny bit closer to your chest. We're gonna step the right foot back, um, right tippy toes touching the mat. So start to explore here. If you feel really wobbly, then engage your powerhouse. Pause here, this is the place you build your strength and resilience. You can also float that back leg away from the mat. If you take that option, shift your weight forward, begin to hover that back foot up. It can hover a little bit, or you can continue to push heavy through that left foot as the right leg lifts up, the hands can stay at your heart, or they can airplane out to the side, or they can reach overhead. To come out, hands back to the heart, let's step that back foot down, and then step it forward. All right, that was an option, building warrior three, um, while keeping some connection with the mat. That is, if, if you're new to Warrior Three, that's the best way, and repeat that on the other side. Or you can go from both feet firmly planted on the ground directly into that elevated leg. So let's, let's see what that looks like on the opposite side. Hands to heart, um, a soft bend in the knees, engage your belly. As you begin to take your torso forward, a little bend in the knees again, and that gives you room to move. That left leg is gonna come straight up. The heel is reaching back. Hands can stay at heart. We can take them to airplane, or you can take them overhead. Airplane is the best option for me on this side. When you're ready to step down, you can take your foot to the mat from here, or you can put a little bend in that right knee and sweep the left foot up directly to meet the right. And now we're out of that posture. So play around with both sides and see where is your personal edge. That's always the place that you're gonna build strength and resilience, so avoiding going too far too fast, that usually sets us back more than it propels us forward.